CJD Support Network is the leading charity for all forms of CJD. It was established in 1995 by the relatives of people who suffered with CJD. It provides support for both individuals and their families who are, are affected by all four forms of the disease. It's four different types of CJD, um, sporadic, iatrogenic, genetic and variant. Even though there's four different types, the standard and levels of care that are required are very high. It's absolutely vital for individuals and their carers that they can access information via the website or even the telephone helpline if they have the feeling that they need to speak to an individual in person. He'd walked into hospital and you know, within a week he couldn't walk, he couldn't talk properly, he couldn't eat, he didn't really know where he was, he didn't really know who we were, so this decline was rapid. They said, look, we're, we're pretty confident that it's CJD. And so we were shocked and, and, and scared. Um, and, you know, at that point we were told that he had a few short weeks. His behaviour was quite different and he felt odd. He kept saying he felt odd, his head wasn't right. And his motor control was very much different from normal and it progressed quite rapidly. When we were given the diagnosis, there was a sort of a sea of white coats and I remember the children and I, they were sitting either side of me. And when the guy said to me, CJD, I couldn't believe it. Care is a really important to a person who has CJD, um, but you know, they do need emotional support and the support network does provide that whether it be through the provision of leaflets or a helpline. They sent me various literature to read. So it, with something as rare as this, it was, it was, it was really good to find somebody who, uh, you know, who, who knew more about it, rather than just reading random things on the internet. The Support Network website has a series of articles which actually explain the nature of the CJD disease and continually update their information so that it is accurate and it is unbiased and is provided by the um, national experts in the disease. Being able to phone and ask questions when nobody is answering your questions is a lifeline. The CJT support group would say, you can do this, and that's all we needed. It was very you know, comforting, reassuring to talk to somebody who actually knew um, about this. And um, they're very you know, approachable, understanding, and, um, and helpful. I think we could have gone to the support group with any question, any time of the day or night, and we were made to feel like that. The support network will put you in contact with families who have been similarly affected and so that can actually also sort of relieve some of the burden by just talking to someone who's been through um, the same thing as yourself. As a family we still go to the meetings. It's essential for us to be in a room with other people who have had this experience. Talking to someone who's gone through it from a personal perspective is it's very different to talking to a medical specialist. We knew that there were awful symptoms coming. When's he going to stop talking to us? When's he going to stop making the jokes that he always made? When are we going to lose the man that we know? And we were told what was coming. We were told what would happen at the hospital. We were told about the support we would get as a family. We were told if there were hardships, they could help us with that. So at last, we had a body of people we could go to. They've been marvellous to us, and still are. It's good to have you know, uh, a group like CJD Support who are the experts. We knew that, that they were there if we needed them, and with the diagnosis of CJD, there's also a lot of medical decisions that have to be made about, you know, there were decisions about Dad's care, there was decisions about what happens afterwards, does he have a post-mortem, do we have genetic tests? There are a lot of decisions there and you know that they know what you're going through. I don't think we would have been able to have given Julian the support 
that we could do because you need to be outside of your own needs when somebody is poorly or somebody's dying you need to be there for them and we that's what we wanted to do and it was the CJD support team that gave us that.